Hi boys and girls, it's time for art class. My name is Miss Melissa, and guess what we are going to be learning about today? That's right, you guessed it, green tree frogs. Did you know that green tree frogs are the symbol for Louisiana's state amphibian? They sure are. How would you like to draw a giant green tree frog with me today? Well, let me show you the supplies so we can get started. You are going to need one sheet of white paper, just like this, a pair of pencils and an eraser. You will also need your box of markers and your box of crayons, just like I have here. Here is a picture that you can see up close of what a green tree frog looks like. It's our Louisiana state amphibian because they are so abundant through the entire state. Do you know where these green Louisiana tree frogs live? Like what is their habitat? I bet you were thinking they live around ponds and lakes. They could live in swamps, marshes, even ditches, and also on wet grasslands. Did you know that green tree frogs like to eat insects and spiders. They catch them with their long sticky tongue. Have you ever seen a tree frog catch an insect? They actually sit and watch their prey from the plant or tree that they are sitting on and their tongue is very fast. Do you notice the shape of his eyes and of his head and his body. And take a look at his long fingers and his long arms and legs. He even has some little circles on the edge of his fingers. That is for climbing. He has circular toes to make it easy for him to climb the tree. Did you know that Louisiana tree frogs can pretty much sit inside the palm of your hand? They're actually very tiny. Since we're going to be drawing this frog today, I thought I would show you a couple of tricks. So what I'd like you to do is please watch me. Do not draw, just watch. On this side, I'm going to show you some shapes that we're gonna to use to help us draw our frog. And on this side, I'm going to show you some lines that I'm gonna to use to help us draw our frog. So check this out. Here you can see a circle. We're gonna use a circle just to draw his eyes, nose, and toes. So we use the circle sometimes, but we're gonna use lots and lots of, you guessed it, ovals. Now let's see what type of lines we're gonna use. Well, pretty much all of our circles and ovals are made up of curvy lines. So we're gonna be drawing lots and lots of curves. Now, since it's a green tree frog, in the background we're going to make a tree trunk that shows the bark of a tree, the actual tree bark. So in that case, we are going to be using lots and lots of wavy lines to draw the bark of a tree and your picture will end up looking something like this. Isn't that a cute little Louisiana green tree frog? I think so. 
It looks like my green tree frog ate a good bit of insects, huh? <laughs> He's a little, um, he looks like he has a full belly. <laughs> Please get your white sheet of paper out so we can start drawing our green tree frog together. Boys and girls, I would like you to copy off of me. Please put your finger in the center of your paper. And what I would like you to do is draw an oval, kind of a bumpy oval right in the middle. This is gonna be the frog's head. So just copy off of me and we do not want it to be perfect about this size. You see how I have a kind of a couple of, it's a little bumpy. So about this size, you're going to draw a bumpy oval. That is going to be his head. Now watch. Let's put two circles at the top and some tiny little dots for his nose. So far, so good. Now, the frog looks like his eyes are black with yellow eyelids. So watch, we're going to draw the details of his eyes. So watch, we're gonna make one and two curvy lines. One on the top and one on the bottom. I'm gonna do it again on this side, so take a look. A curvy line on the top and a curvy line on the bottom. Next, whenever you look at a frog, you'll notice that he's a lot lighter under his face and his belly. Most green tree frogs are a, a yellowish green color and they can turn darker green, but underneath its mouth and belly, it looks white or light yellow. So watch this. Let's make a curvy line together to show the light part underneath his mouth next to his belly. Speaking of belly, let's go ahead and draw his body. It's going to connect to his head. Watch me. I'm going to draw another bumpy oval that's going to come around and look connect to his underneath by his mouth so watch i'm going to draw a bumpy oval and bring it down to his mouth just like that see put your pencil at the top go all the way around and bring it down by his mouth now you can connect with a curvy line you see that? That will show his belly. I just drew one curvy line to show underneath the frog's belly. So far we have a bumpy oval for the face, a bumpy oval for the body, right? Circles for the eyes and nose, and we drew curvy lines for his eyelids, under his mouth and his belly. Great job, boys and girls. Now we can draw his legs. Drawing the legs and the feet are my favorite part of a frog. Watch. First thing I want you to do is right by his mouth, you're gonna draw an oval, just like that. That's gonna be the top part of his leg. Let's go ahead and draw another oval on this side to show the top parts of his legs. He has two front legs. Now watch. We're going to draw another oval but make it longer. And I'm going to do the same thing on this side. I'm going to draw another 
oval but make it longer and they can overlap you see how my ovals are touching so we have the top part of the leg and the bottom the top part of the leg and the bottom now my favorite part his fingers did you know that a frog has four fingers on his front legs so watch ready you're gonna curve out and come around and back in out around back in kind of like some waves Just some wavy lines okay do the same thing on this side so watch curve out bring it around and in out around and in out around and in out around and in see that it's almost like some wavy lines that just go in and out now we can draw his back legs so watch put your pencil on the end of that oval and we're going to draw another oval for his back leg connecting to his body draw an oval here and we're going to do the same thing on this side draw another oval here and it's okay if they touch all right I'm gonna make this part a little bit shorter so now you're gonna draw a short oval on this side and a short oval on this side because of the angle of the frog we're kind of looking upwards so we're not going to see the whole bottom part of his back legs all right so we have big oval little oval big oval little oval now it's time to draw his you guessed it feet but guess what did you know that frogs have five toes on their back legs not like the front legs he has four fingers the back he has five toes just like we do so watch we're gonna make that wavy line five times ready one two three four and five and do the same thing on this side ready go one two three four and five I love drawing the frogs big fingers and toes and remember how I told you he had these like little circular shaped at the edge of his toes so you can actually go in and draw some circles so on all of his fingers and toes we're gonna draw circles boys and girls if you're having to adjust your ovals or any curves or wavy lines that we drew for his fingers and toes you can you can adjust and then once you get it we can continue just make sure you look to see what I'm doing because the next part is going to be adding color so boys and girls if you're not finished drawing you can continue to draw and you can just see what I'm doing and that way you'll know what to do when you start adding color to yours okay let's take one more look at the photograph of a frog so we could really see what colors he is he looks more like a yellow green sometimes frogs can change color and they can turn a darker green or a lighter green but take a look right around his mouth he kind of has a yellowish tint some frogs have the yellow under their belly and some have white but look at his toes they almost kind of look like a pink or red right now I'm sure you've seen um, tree frogs before what I'd like you to do I'd like you to before we start coloring I'd like you to close your eyes and take three deep breaths with me I want you to pretend that you actually see a tree frog on the bark of a tree trunk if you were to touch that tree frog 
what would it feel like? Let's take some deep breaths and try to use our imagination. Close your eyes and breathe with me. Ready? One more breath. Now it's just you and that tree frog. What does his skin feel like? I don't know about you, but I kind of poked him with my finger using my imagination gently and his skin felt really cold and kind of damp, but very smooth. Did your frog's skin feel very smooth and kind of damp? Well, do you know what that is? That is called texture the way something feels. So I thought we could use markers to show a very smooth texture for our frog. Let me show you. Do you see that? Doesn't his skin look very smooth? Notice how I made his eyelids and underneath his mouth and belly yellow and his toes red. Let's color this together. So we could show a smooth texture for the frog's skin. Boys and girls, I'd like you to take your black and I want you to color two dots on the nose, trace his smile, and color the inside of his eyes black. And that is the only thing we're going to need the black for. Eyes, nose, and mouth. Now what I'd like you to do is take your yellow and color the eyelids of the frog under his mouth and his belly. We're gonna color that yellow. His eyelids, under the mouth, and his belly. Now you can choose red or pink for his toes. I'm gonna go ahead and choose pink. And please color in all the circles red or pink. Even though I'm using pink, I tell you what, it sure does look red. So once you actually finish drawing your frog by using lines and shapes, then you can add the color. And guess what? Everything else is gonna be green. So we can actually do this together. So take your green marker and we're just gonna fill in his legs, the top part of his legs, the bottom part of his legs, and even his fingers and toes. Now if you have a yellow green, you can color your frog yellow green because it's a little bit closer to yellow green anyway. Now I like to trace, which means outline my picture. It just helps me stay inside of the lines. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that first. And we should all be coloring our frog by using what? Markers, you got it. We want to show his skin having a smooth, texture. Now boys and girls, while we're coloring the frog together, do you remember how I told you to close your eyes and pretend that you saw this tiny little tree frog on a tree? Remember how I told you to pretend that you touched the frog's skin and you were, to able, you were able to feel his texture? Okay, good. Well, guess what? 
Now what I want you to do while you're coloring, I just want you to use your imagination. If you need to take some deep breaths, you can. What I want you to do now is take your same hands and fingers and I want you to rub your hands and fingers over the bark of that tree trunk, which is brown. What does the bark of that tree trunk feel like? Yes, it sure does. I know that it feels very rough and bumpy, kind of scratchy a little bit, huh? That's what the bark of a tree feels like to me. Now, does the bark of a tree have the same texture as the frog's skin? No, not at all. It's actually the opposite. So the tree's texture, it's gonna be bumpy and rough. Do you know how we can show the texture of a tree? Well, if you would take a look and stop, I will show you. What I'm gonna want you to do is take your, not just watch, after you finish coloring your frog, we're gonna pretend that that frog is just hanging out on this big, big tree trunk and the whole background of your paper is brown. Look at what I'm doing. I am making some wavy lines going up and down. What do you think these wavy lines are showing? That's right, I am drawing the tree bark of a tree. So I could show the bumpy, rough texture. So after you're done coloring your frog, I would like you to get your crayons and make wavy lines all over your paper going up and down. Because this will show the what? That's right, texture of the tree bark. Because he is a Louisiana green tree frog. I think that's good. And then once you finish drawing your wavy lines to show the texture of the tree bark, you can actually color it. So boys and girls, continue to work on your picture because we're going to have to stop soon. And if you don't get a chance to finish coloring your tree bark or drawing the lines to show its texture, you can always work on this later at your desk or at home. Like I said, I'm gonna finish coloring and show you what it looks like at the end so you can get a sneak preview. All right, boys and girls, here is my picture finished. 
I finished coloring all of the brown tree bark. And you know what I like? Just like the green marker showed the smooth texture of the frog, my brown crayon showed the rough and bumpy texture of the tree. I think you did a great job drawing your Louisiana green tree frog. I hope you have fun while you finish coloring your picture. I'm so glad you joined me today. I had a lot of fun using lines and shapes to draw our Louisiana tree frog and the tree bark that the frog was sitting on. Do you remember the type of line that we use to actually make the tree bark? That's right, wavy lines. Do you remember what shape did we use the most of to make our green Louisiana tree frog? That's right, we used mini ovals. I also thought it was neat that we were able to use markers to show the smooth texture of the frog's skin and that we were able to use crayons to show the rough texture of the tree bark. Do you remember what texture means? Exactly, it is how something feels. Well, as you go through the rest of your week, maybe you can draw another Louisiana green tree frog. But this time, maybe you can draw him catching an insect with his very long sticky tongue. And you can put him in the habitat of your choice. Maybe you can draw the frog on a lily pad in the swamp or on a cattail in the marsh or even on a branch of a tree over top the wet grasslands. Well, I hope you have a great day and I will see you soon.